We are joined by Paul Contreras and his daughter, Alyssa. As you saw in the piece, Paul was one of those parade goers sprang into action once that gunfire erupted. Paul, Alyssa, good morning. Paul, uh, it looked super chaotic. Will you just take us into that moment and what uh, made you decide to spring into action? It was, it, it was just a reaction. You know, uh, he was he was running against the wrong way. And there was another gentleman saying, you know, just screaming out, out of the top of his lungs, you know, catch this guy, tackle him. And I heard him and I really wasn't for sure until he, he came running and I had a perfect angle to do what I did. And I did what I did, you know, I took him, I took him down. So and, we, uh, yeah. and as I took him down, I seen, I seen the weapon, the gun fall to the ground. So when I hit him, whether I hit it out of his hand or it fell out of his jacket, cause he was wearing a big bulky jacket. I seen it when I was taking him down, I seen the weapon fall to the ground. So I knew right down and there, I'm like, okay, he's got one weapon, but this one's on the ground. He may have another one. I need to take him to the ground and I need to keep him on the ground is what I did. So we don't know. You saw him running against the grain, mm -hmm. which was suspicious. Someone else tackled first. You came on to, to help in that effort. Did you get a good look at this person's face? Did they say anything? I did not. When I, when I took him down, I took him down by tackling him from the back. And when I took him down to the ground, his hood went over his head. So he was face down the whole time. Mm -hmm. I had him face down the whole time with me on top of him. And then another good Samaritan helped me keep him to the ground. Did so you? I did not get a good look at him at all. So, Paul, you, I know but you, you I were on him I, until the police came. Um, did the police take him away? Did they arrest him? Yes. There, it, it was after, after I don't know how long it was, but they the, the cops finally did show up. They finally got there, got the cuffs on him, and then me and the other Good Samaritan were, were kind of, free stood up this and that and i'm looking for where my daughters are at because i'm there with all my three daughters for this good celebration and uh they they took over from there it must have been terrifying for you and Alyssa. for you you stayed by your father's side you had your sisters there uh what were those moments like for you what did you see I mean, from the moment the celebration ended, there were, you know, millions of people just leaving to go back to their cars. And not long after we, you know, headed on our journey to our car, we hear multiple pops that I think everybody assumed were fireworks until we saw two males running along with multiple cops chasing them that I think everybody kind of realized those might not have been fireworks for the celebration. And like my dad says, we tried to get over to this bridge and we weren't able to get over. And as soon as people started turning around and running, you see the offender. And next thing I know, my little sister along with my older sister just take off. And I turn back around to you know, see my dad jump on top of this offender and make sure he wasn't able to get up. Um, just to sort of button it up at the end, guys, I mean, this is the 48th shooting in 45 days in the United States. Um, you, were, you were witnesses to one of them. Can you just let us know what you think of, of those stats? It's crazy how we've gone through only 45 days and, we, you know, there's more shootings than the days we've had this year. Second month. It just shows, you know, how much gun violence is really, you know, tearing apart our world and our communities, whether it's schools, work, grocery stores, and even parades, you know. It's just sad you have to put things like this in the back of your mind that now it is, there is a chance it could happen. Yeah. Yeah. 48th mass shooting in yeah. 45 days. Paul and Alyssa, thank you for being here and thank sharing you. your story with us. We appreciate it.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.